Today, the topic I have been given to present is Preventive Cardiology AFIC Experience. Uh, from uh, within uh, f uh, the last 10 minutes, uh, I will be discussing upon the outline. So the outline of my discussion would be comprising upon the introduction of the heart disease and these most important aspects of the heart disease that I will be covering in the next 10 minutes. So without wasting much time, let's come to the introduction of cardiac rehabilitation. That is the main part and parcel of preventive cardiology. Cardiac rehabilitation, it is a multifactorial program that is designed medically to supervise the cardiovascular health of our patients. Those patients who have had some acute cardiac event, for example, myocardial infarction, angioplasties, heart failure, and post-cardiac surgery. Cardiac rehabilitation involves medical assessment and evaluation of the patient that is done by the preventive cardiologist. The cardiac risk factor assessment and risk stratification of our patients. Then we counsel the patient, we give them lifestyle modifications and also the behavioral modifications. So let's see how this disease affects globally. The cardiovascular disease is not only the leading cause of premature death in the world, but also it is the most important cause of morbidity and mortality worldwide. So this is not some other country. This is our own AFIC, OPD and emergency department. And this type of turnover we come across daily in our hospital. As you can see that the cardiovascular disease occupies the major bulk of other non-communicable diseases. That is the 31% of all non-communicable diseases. So that here comes the most important part of my presentation. That is the risk factor assessment and reduction of cardiovascular burden. The risk factor assessment, before going into details, uh, I would first like to give you a concept of cardiovascular risk. Cardiovascular risk is basically the probability of an individual for getting fatal or non-fatal cardiovascular disease within a fixed period of time. So this is a pictorial representation of some risk factors. As you can see, the blue are the non-modifiable ones and the green ones are modifiable ones. I usually keep on saying in my lectures, which I deliver to my patients and medical students, that the non-modifiable ones are those who are God-gifted. And uh, the modifiable ones are those who are human-gifted. The God-gifted we cannot change. But the human-gifted which we have enrolled into our lives, incorporated into our lives, we can change them, of course. So now we are going to see that how we risk stratify our patients and do prevention of our patients. Uh, we all know that the cardiac prevention is of two types, that is the primary and the secondary prevention. So first, let's see what this cardiovascular disease means to us. It basically comprises of coronary heart disease and stroke. So this comprises of two diseases. Since the risk factors and the lifestyle modifications are same for both diseases, so managing one disease will prevent the other disease at the same time. So this is very important to understand that if we do prevention for the coronary heart disease, then the stroke and the TIA and the cerebrovascular disease will prevent itself. So we live in an era of evidence-based clinical medicine practice. So here comes the guideline, that is a European guideline uh, class one indication that the risk factor assessment is mandatory in any individual with vascular, any vascular risk factors, which we have discussed in the last slide, those risk factors who are modifiable, we can of course correct them. So this is class one indication. Also, uh, we can do uh, risk stratification in a person who is obese, that is class two A indication. So this is very important, I would like to discuss in detail a brief discussion on this, that we in the AFIC risk stratify the patients on the basis of scoring system. And this scoring system we do on apparently healthy persons with risk factors. These are the scores two and the score two up we can uh, find easily on an online calculators. 
so we basically do scoring on these patients and we classify them according to the risk score into low to moderate high and very high so the bottom two groups are our area of made in trust we pick the bottom two groups and we do the prevention okay i would like to discuss two main important risk factors here and the rest of the risk factors would be uh, discussed by my dear fellow colleagues so smoking smoking cessation is mandatory to stop and that is the class 1 recommendation according to esc we do in afic uh, smoking cessation with the help of our psychologist and with the help of our preventive cardiologist also we do behavioral interventions in the smokers uh, we also offer them the pharmacological interventions that include nicotine replacement therapy wherein a clean bupropion or the combination one more thing i would like to discuss is we offer five a's to our patient the five a's are first we assess the patient and we usually assess on the basis that whether the patient is smoking routinely or not and that is very important we ask the patient whether the patient is smoking or not then we assess the patient the second day comes and we assess the degree of addiction and the readiness of the patient to quit smoking then we advise the patient we advise the patient to quit smoking that is the third a then we assess the patient and we assess the patient in quitting smoking that comes the fourth a and then the final a is we arrange the follow up of our patients we basically do these five a's in our patients and we come across the amazing resu results uh, one of my patient he who was smoking uh, for the last 45 years and uh, 200 cigarettes per day so with the help of our psychologist we uh, did magic with that patient and now the patient is smoking five cigarettes per day but the results are overwhelming and the family is also very very much excited and happy that the patient has almost quitted and the cardiovascular burden of the disease has reduced dramatically in that patient so there are some figures that up to what age the um, in our youth the average age of initiating tobacco is 21% so our main target is youth and educational institutions this is very important Uh, a brief discussion on the dyslipidemia i would like to discuss that this is class 1 indication of dyslipidemia that we should start the high intensity statin from the very beginning and that is really important we are also conducting a research study on this that we give our patient high intensity statin so here comes the most favorite part of my discussion and that is my most favorite that what we do at afic uh, in the preventive cardiology uh, our team uh, we have managed to put our team together under one roof and that inc includes preventive cardiologist our nutritionist our psychologist our exercise physiologist pharmacist and our research department so the our program basically includes the risk assessment via scoring system as we i've already discussed in my last slides and we promote the healthy lifestyle via different awareness lectures to our patient that we do twice weekly uh, we do cardiac rehabilitation uh, exercise based cardiac rehabilitation ebcr phase 1 till phase 3 we also do stress management of our patients and the psychotherapy we do smoking cessation and healthy diet clinics and we do research as a part of preventive cardiology one main thing uh, this is a picture of our lecture which we deliver uh, one main thing i would like to discuss is the cardio pulmonary exercise testing here uh, this is for the very first time in pakistan that we have introduced this thing it determines the vo2 max that is the maximum oxygen capacity a person can do a person can have during the maximum exercise this is the single most predictor of cardio respiratory fitness it has not been done in pakistan till yet and afic has taken this step for the very first time that we have introduced this concept and this is in the pipeline we are doing trials on it uh, we have done a study on it this is cardio pulmonary testing so 
okay just uh, one minute i'll take so we are uh, in the pipeline of this process and this is basically the test that will do wonders in the prevention cardiology it is the single most indicator of cardio respiratory fitness and in the heart failure patients it will do wonders because it only shows not only shows the response to therapy in the heart failure patient but it will also help for determining the exercise intensity to our patients and that is the single most predictor of cardio respiratory fitness in not only in heart failure patients but also in the pre operative patients the last slide of my presentation is our goals uh, we intend to make afic a center of excellence inshallah uh, for that we will uh, manage to arrange more and more lectures and seminars for cardiac risk assessment and we will uh, inshallah establish some more clinics which my dear colleague will uh, discuss later on and uh, for uh, with this i would like to thank you for your patient listening thank you very much